Welcome to Credit Unit 1, Module 2. In this module, we'll be talking about business ethics and social responsibility. How do people and businesses decide what's the right thing to do? Ethics are moral principles that help guide a person's actions. Business ethics take those same principles and apply them to business practices. Often the ethical choice is so obvious that we don't even think about it at all. We simply do what is right. But sometimes competing priorities can make the line between what is ethical and what is unethical a little fuzzy. Imagine, for example, you work at a large company. A friend of yours is applying for a job there. How much help can you give your friend before you cross an ethical line? Certainly it wouldn't be a problem to put in a good word for them, or you might tell your friend a little bit about the company policy and culture before they go in for the interview. But what if you told your friend information about the position or hiring manager that isn't publicly available to other candidates? Or what if you yourself had a say in the hiring process? Does that cross an ethical line? Of course, lying for your friend's benefit crosses a line, but when does flattery become exaggeration, and exaggeration become a lie? As you can see, right and wrong isn't always black and white. In this module, we'll be talking about two main types of ethical situations ethical dilemmas, and ethical decisions. In an ethical dilemma, a decision must be made between two or more courses of action, all of which being considered ethically appropriate, but each of which would lead to different outcomes. These usually involve weighing competing priorities against one another. An example might be a company whose sales are down and needs to lay off some employees, but what's the right way to go about it? The employees would probably like to get an early notice of termination and severance pay, but this would come as an added expense to a company whose sales are already down, so the company's investors might prefer a more cost-saving solution. If the company did not already have an established policy for handling a situation like this in place, it could easily create an ethical dilemma. An ethical decision, on the other hand, involves choosing between right and wrong. While these situations may have a more obvious right answer, they can still be difficult decisions to make when there are strong incentives to make the wrong choice and when there are perceived hardships associated with making the right one. Add to that the fact that people can have strong psychological ways of justifying their actions and these decisions can become powerful tests of one's ethical integrity. For example, imagine you handle online marketing for a small company and your boss asks you to get more positive customer reviews for the company. He tells you to just start writing your own reviews on popular message boards. You object, but he insists, telling you that it's common practice for small businesses to do this sort of thing. You fear you might lose your job if you don't comply, and you think to yourself that you're not really lying, you're just writing reviews for customers who didn't take the time to do it themselves. And if it is common practice, what's the harm in you doing it too? In this situation, the right ethical choice is clear, but other factors get in the way of following through on it. When a normally good person fails to make the right choice in a situation such as this, it's called an ethical lapse. So ethics is, in a lot of ways, about individual choices. But companies can encourage their people to act ethically by ensuring that they've established the right culture. Making sure that company policy places a high value on good ethics and making sure that managers and supervisors have the ethical integrity to lead by example are good ways to help ensure that good decision making spreads throughout the entire company. Businesses obviously exist to make profits, but an ethical company recognizes that their responsibility is to more than just the bottom line. Their owners, employees, suppliers, customers, and communities may all have differing and often opposing interests, so it can sometimes be hard to tell what the best decision is. Companies are behaving as good corporate citizens when they consider their responsibilities to all stakeholders and act in ways that balance conflicting concerns.